if you're doing a lot of infrastructure work, then you're at some point going to need to punch down the wire into a punch down block. Usually these are 66 blocks. There are 110 blocks that you would put on the wall inside your MDF or your IDF. But there may be different connectors down where the user is where you're punching down a connection into the jack that they're plugging into. This can be a relatively tedious process. If you've ever seen the wall of wires in an MDF, you can be there a very long time punching in those cables. And if you're punching in all eight wires for every single connection, that's a lot of individual punches that you're going to have to do. The purpose of these punch down blocks is to not only connect them into the block itself so that you have an electrical connection, but it also trims the wires and makes the installation very, very neat when you're finally done. And one of the key pieces when you're putting in that physical environment is that you have everything as neat as possible. You don't want to have any problems with the physical plant itself. If you have problems with your cabling, then nothing is going to work properly through your network. Here's a close up of a punch down block. And you can see along the top where no one has punched down any wires. You can see where the connectors are that you would be pushing the wire into with your punch down device. And they're colored here at the top so that you can keep track of where everything might be. At the bottom, you can see the results of the punch downs. The wires have been pushed down very forcefully with the punch down tool into those gaps. And you can see that they're there, in some cases, so forcefully that some of the insulation has come off of those. Ideally, it would punch down into those two connectors, and all of the wiring that would be exposed would be on the inside. But sometimes the process is so violent as it's being pushed in there that you really can't help tearing away a little bit of that insulation that comes off the side. And most of the time, you're cutting the cable off very neatly there at the very bottom. In some cases, it doesn't tear off completely neatly. You can see some of it left over there. But if you have a very sharp punch down tool, it usually is going to have a very nice result for you once you punch all of those wires down into those little connections. If you're doing any amount of punch down work, then you'll need to keep a few things in mind. One is that you'll need to be very organized. There are a lot of wires. You could see in the previous picture, there were wires going everywhere. So you want to make sure that you have documented all your wiring, that you have documented it on the punch downs themselves, and that you have everything arranged exactly the way it should be. There's going to be a lot of cable management involved. So you'll need to make sure that everything remains neat and clean when you're doing the punch down process. Another thing to keep in mind is that you're maintaining the twists on your Ethernet cabling. As you punch down Ethernet, you don't want to untwist too much of the cable. You want to have that twist going all the way up until the very last second of the punch down block. That way, you're able to keep down the amount of interference that might be caused by crosstalk. And if you're punching down a lot of Ethernet, having that high speed capability is going to depend on you keeping those twists inside of that cable. At the end of the job, you want to make sure everything is documented. You don't want to walk away and have the next person have no idea where these cables might be going. So make sure you document where the cables go and how they got there. If there are tags that you can put onto different cables to signify where they might be going on a patch panel or another set of punch down blocks, that's always useful. Some people will write right onto the wood where the punch downs are connected so that there is a permanent notation of where those connections might be. And keeping track of the organization, the twist rates of the wire, and making sure you document everything is going to be extremely important for the ongoing maintenance of your network.